Well, we're not here for finishing eighth or ninth. We're on a journey that's going to be one that will really reward you. Just, just hang in there whilst we go through it all together. The racing of the year culminated in Abu Dhabi, and Williams' 2023 season was decided by events beyond their control. A team that was just a few years ago on the verge of financial ruin would be quite proud of themselves if they could finish in seventh place. However, following qualifications, they found themselves at the mercy of Yuki Tsunoda's Alpha Tari. The crew planned for their joyous celebrations to conceal far more than they did when the checkered flag dropped and their fate was revealed. Williams led 8th place Alpha Tari by 7 points going to the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix with 28 points and 7th in the constructor standings. Alpha Tari was directly behind and a season high number of points would have been needed to close the gap. However, the upset was undoubtedly on as Yuki Sonoda's improved A24 appeared competitive in recent races. Tsunoda's 6th place starting slot was concerning because teammate Logan Sargent was at the rear of the grid for failing to post a competitive time and Albin was out in qualifying second round. If Tsunoda had maintained his speed throughout the race to finish 6th exactly, AlphaTari would have passed Williams to take 7th place in the standings. Albin acknowledged that he and his group were powerless to change the result. It was a difficult race as the Grove-based outfit was solely dependent on Yuki with neither of its drivers threatening the points at any moment. Sadly, because AlphaTari was running up the road from us, we were able to participate in his race due to his excessive speed. Thankfully, a few of the faster automobiles managed to pass him, so Albin was delighted to spend that P7. Williams finished the 2023 Formula 1 season with the best finish in the constructor standings since taking 5th in 2017 thanks to Daniel Ricciardo's elimination from the points and his inability to match his teammate once more. Albon also attributes Williams' poor race performance to the increasing wind intensity on race day, which revealed the flaws in his FW45 package. The wind was quite high, you know, in the first 20 laps of the race, and it's amazing how it frustrates our car, Albon said. It makes driving so much more difficult and disengaged. After we changed tires and the wind subsided, the automobile started to move again, and we were quite powerful, especially in the latter phase. Liam Lawson doesn't seem to be interested in going to Williams on loan for the 2024-27 season. Due to Red Bull's decision to keep Yuki Tsunoda and Daniel Ricciardo at AlphaTauri for the 2019 season, Lawson will now start the season as a reserve driver and will not have a racing seat. Williams has not yet decided on a second driver to go with Alex Albin since Logan Sargent has been having performance issues. While the selection of their second driver is still pending, Philippe Drogovic has surfaced as a possible candidate for Williams' last Formula 1 seat for the 2024 season. Drogovic is now a contender in the very competitive race for this seat. Let's get started with today's video without further ado. Although Williams has shown admirable patience with Logan Sargent, it seems as though his tolerance is running out. In his first Formula 1 season, the American rookie has not yet earned any points, despite his great efforts. Sargent had been in the lead for 16 races, but Red Bull moved quickly to replace fellow rookie Nick De Vries after just 10 races at AlphaTauri. The Williams team had not yet shown any sign that Sargent's circumstances will soon alter. Three sprint events are among the six weekends left in the season, and it is anticipated that the 22-year-old will participate in each of them. His status for the 2024 campaign is still unknown, though. Numerous factors make this scenario difficult, particularly in light of the fact that Sargent was originally scheduled to compete in Formula 2 this year. It's crucial to remember that Sargent has no responsibility for the way the team's plans were changed by other drivers' decisions, such as Nick DeVries opting for AlphaTauri or Oscar Piastri joining McLaren. Logan Sargent's future at Williams has been in doubt for a while, and it's unlikely that his most recent accident at Suzuka qualifying improved his prospects of keeping his seat for the following season. Roger Benoit, a respectable writer covering Formula One, said last week that Williams was not thinking about splitting with Sargent before his next two home races in Austin and Las Vegas. But even with Williams team principal James Vowell's apparent forbearance and encouragement, Sargent's position appears to be in jeopardy. Felipe Drogovic, who has substantial financial support, is reportedly gaining traction as a potential driver for Williams in 2024. As the squad prepares for the upcoming season, this financial assistance may be crucial in helping them make decisions. What are your thoughts on Williams' driver roster for the next campaign? Who will take Sargent's place? If yes, by whom? The crucial choice of whether Logan Sargent will be part of the Williams squad going forward must be made as they continue to show growth year after year. Any Formula 1 team hoping for consistent success must assess the long-term potential of their drivers. 
There are times when Logan meets all of our expectations, lap times, for example, and everything goes smoothly. Following the crash, the race pace in Singapore was very contested, but there are still errors. There was the mishap. Our problem is that we are investing in him collectively. That is our duty. During the Japanese Grand Prix practice, Vowles told Sky Germany, we invest in the sport. It seems unlikely that Liam Lawson will be joining Williams on loan. Christian Horner of Red Bull has already expressed doubts that Lawson would take such a step. And James Vowles of Williams was evasive when questioned about the concept during Japanese Grand Prix. During the Japanese Grand Prix weekend, Lawson made it clear that he saw himself as a Red Bull driver, noting that every position in the team was already taken. This implies even further that Williams could not be eligible for a loan at this time. I drive for Red Bull. Regretfully, I will have to serve as a reserve driver for the time being because all of the Red Bull spots are taken, he said. Liam Lawson's ultimate ambition is still to drive in Formula One, and he is very much focused on getting a full-time ride in the 2025 season. Young people who aspire to be motorsports stars frequently put in a lot of effort to secure a position at the top of the sport. I'm now trying to maximize these races, so I've got my head down. My ultimate ambition is to be an F1, of course, and I'll try my hardest to make that happen in the future. Having participated in the Red Bull driver program for five years is, in my opinion, one of the benefits of the job. It's a demanding program, he remarked. On the most recent episode of the Sky Sports F1 podcast, Matt Baker was joined by Bernie Collins and Anthony Davidson in a heated discussion over this matter. It's really difficult to guess what a team's background activities may be, in my opinion, primarily because despite the fact that we can see events happening on schedule, hear his driver communications and see the pace, we are unable to observe how he is performing during debriefs, what kind of growth he is contributing to the team, or how he is connecting with everyone. Thus, it's possible that the group is indeed a good fit for one another," Collins added. Nowadays, the main factor influencing Formula One is performance. James Vowles, the team principal for Williams, highlighted the difficulty of enduring temporary failures in the sake of long-term success during a recent debate at the Dutch Grand Prix, particularly when one must answer to a board of directors. This emphasizes how crucial it is to produce outcomes and stay competitive in a highly competitive and developing sport like Formula One. After Red Bull dropped him at the end of the 2020 season, Alex Albon's Formula One career took an unexpected turn and he was left without a place for the following year. Nonetheless, the Thai driver has advanced significantly in his career and shown good form since joining Williams in 2022. If Williams chooses not to renew his contract for the 2024 season, Mick Schumacher, another driver who had difficulties after just two seasons with the Haas squad, would be a serious contender to replace Logan Sargent. Mick Schumacher's goal for the next season was to return to the Formula One grid full time. It seems like Schumacher's dreams have been dashed as it has been reported that James Vowles, the team principal at Williams, declined to grant Schumacher a place in response to requests from Mercedes CEO Toto Wolff. This illustrates the intricate interplay between team alliances and decision making in Formula One, where driver lineups are frequently decided by taking into account the interest of several parties. That's all guys, keep supporting and subscribing to our channel.